Today's topic is inner product structure on dual space of a Hilbert space. We know that every Hilbert space is a complete inner product space. Uh, in this lecture, we will see that with the help of inner product on the Hilbert space, we can define an inner product on the dual space. And ultimately, we will see that dual space of a Hilbert space is also a Hilbert space. Now, we are going to prove a theorem which states that the dual space of a Hilbert space is an inner product space. Let us prove this theorem. Let H be a Hilbert space over field K and H star be its dual space. Here field K is the field of real numbers or field of complex numbers. And since Hilbert space H is an inner product space, so here we are taking an inner product on H. And H star is the set of all bounded linear functionals on H. And we also know that H star is a linear space over K. By this Frechet representation theorem, we know that for each f in h star, there exists a unique element z in h such that f of x is equal to inner product xz for every x in h. So for f g in h star, we define a function denoted by angled bracket from h star cross h star to k as angled bracket fg is equal to inner product vu where u and v are uniquely determined by f and g respectively that is corresponding to linear functional f there exists a unique element u and corresponding to linear functional g there exists a unique element v in h we shall show that this angled bracket this function defines an inner product on H star. Now we show that angle bracket satisfies all the conditions for a function to be an inner product. Now we show the first condition. Let F G in H star and let U V be uniquely determined by F and G respectively. Then angled bracket F G is equal to inner product of v u and angle bracket g f is equal to inner product u v. Uh, by definition of inner product, we know that inner product of v u is equal to complex conjugate of u v. And, uh, and uh, but we find that complex conjugate of angle bracket g f is equal to complex conjugate of inner product of u v and this is equal to inner product of VU. And so we find that in a, um, angled bracket FG is equal to complex conjugate of um, angled bracket GF. So first condition is satisfied. Now we do the second condition. Let U be uniquely determined by F. Then angled bracket FF is equal to inner product of UU and this is equal to norm of u square and this is always greater than or equal to 0. And in angled bracket ff is equal to norm of u square. This is equal to 0 if and only if u is equal to 0. That means if and only if f of x is equal to uh, inner product x u and this is equal to inner product of x 0 and this is always 0 for every x belongs to h. That is if and only if f of x is equal to 0 for every x in h. That is if and only if f is a 0 function that is f is equal to 0. So we have shown that angle bracket ff is greater than or equal to 0 and this is 0 if and only if f is equal to 0. So second condition is also satisfied. Now we shall show the third condition um, for f g h in h star. We have to show that angled bracket f plus g and h is equal to angled bracket f and h plus angled bracket g h. 
let u v w be uniquely determined by f g and h respectively as f and g are belonging to h star so f plus g belongs to h star because h star is a linear space we shall show that u plus v is uniquely determined by this function f plus g as we know that f of x is equal to inner product of x u for every x belongs to h and g of x is equal to inner product of x v for every x belongs to h and this implies that f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x and this is equal to inner product of x u plus inner product of x v for every x belongs to it. By definition of inner product, this is equal to inner product x and u plus v for every x belongs to h. So we can say that uh, u plus v is uniquely determined by linear functional f plus g. Now, angled bracket f plus g and h is equal to inner product of w u plus v and this is equal to by definition of inner product this is equal to inner product of w u plus inner product w v and this is equal to angled bracket f h plus angled bracket g h so we have shown the third condition now we show that the fourth condition is also satisfied by the angle bracket. We have to show that for fg in h star, alpha belongs to k, angle bracket alpha f and g is equal to alpha times angle bracket f and g. Let u and v be uniquely determined by f and g respectively. As alpha belongs to k, f belongs to h star, alpha f belongs to h star. Why? Because h star is a linear space. First, we show that complex conjugate of alpha into u is uniquely determined by alpha f. As we know that f of x is equal to inner product x u for every x in h and alpha times f of x is equal to alpha times of f x is equal to alpha times of inner product of x u for every x in h and since inner product is uh, conjugate linear in sec second argument so this is equal to inner product of x complex conjugate of alpha into u for every x in h in this way we have shown that complex conjugate of alpha into u is uniquely determined by linear functional alpha f. Now, angled bracket alpha f and g is equal to inner product of v complex conjugate of alpha into u. And this is equal to alpha times inner product v u and this is equal to alpha times angled bracket f g. So, fourth condition is also satisfied by the function angled bracket. Thus, we have shown that that angled bracket is an inner product on H star. Hence, H star is an inner product space. Now, we prove the next theorem which states that the dual space of a Hilbert space is a Hilbert space. Let us prove this theorem. Let H be a Hilbert space over field K and H star be its dual space. We know that H star is an inner product space with inner product um, defined by for F G in H star and for U V uniquely determined by F and G respectively. Inner product of f g in h star is equal to inner product of v u in h. We know that a Banach space is a Hilbert space 
if and only if the norm on it is induced by an inner protein. We know that H star is the set of all bounded linear functionals from H to field K and as K is complete so H star is a Banach space where norm of each fu in h star is given by here we are taking any element of h star uh, as fu because each element of h star is uniquely determined by some element of h by Ries pressure representation theorem so here we are taking fu in h star and its norm is given by norm of fu is equal to supremum of mod of fu of x x belongs to h and norm of x is equal to 1 and that means this is equal to supremum of uh, mod of inner product of x u in h such that x belongs to h norm of x is equal to 1 and we have proved earlier that this is equal to norm of u and this is equal to square root of inner product of u u in h and this is equal to square root of in a product of f u f u in h star thus the norm of h star is induced by the inner product on h star hence h star is a hilbert space now we have a remark as h star is a hilbert space and its dual space that is h double star is also a Hilbert space with inner product defined as inner product of psi phi in H double star is equal to inner product of Fg in H star is equal to inner product of Vu in H where F and G are uniquely determined by phi and psi respectively and Uv are uniquely determined by FG respectively. Thank you.